lot of people don't know how to register. Not everybody in the community, the Hispanic and the African American community, know how to use, know how to get online to determine. Ohio bomb squad is called in to disable a suspicious looking bag left outside church, only to discover it is full of abandoned kittens. And Ted Cruz in damage control today on the Dum Dum News Channel. Before I get started, special shout out to the people that are watching overseas and a special thank you to the people that keep leaving comments and liking the videos. Please show your support, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. In the first of it, Ohio Bomb Squad is called out to disable a suspicious looking bag only to discover that it's full of kitten. It says, small black bag was discovered outside the front of New Miami Church on Thursday bomb squad descended on the scene to dismantle the suspicious package before they heard the sound of purring coming from inside. The bag contained a cat named Sprinkles and six baby kittens. The owner had left a note inside the bag explaining that Sprinkles had given birth to the babies the previous day and they could no longer take care of them. The family of felines were taken to a nearby animal shelter and are now warm, cozy, and fed. They will be adopted out to homes in the coming weeks. This is such a sad story with a great ending. People, please be aware of what you're getting into when you're adopting pets or buying pets. A lot of times your kids want a pet or you think you want a pet, but there are a lot of maintenance and you really have to take care of them. They get sick and they need a lot of attention. Yeah, when you're out there, please be aware of what you're going to get yourself into. And if you can't take care of the pets, then don't even buy them. Instead, buy yourself a robot or something. In the next day, we're going to be talking about Senator from Texas, Ted Cruz. So for those of you that don't know, Texas just went through a deep freeze and it's not used to that sort of thing. So millions of people were left without electricity and were left without water and they had frozen pipes and that caused this big disaster. And Senator Ted Cruz decided to take a vacation to Cancun while this was happening. The article says, shouldn't you be on the beach, Ted? Senator Cruz stages photo op handing out water to Texans in shameless effort to repair his reputation after fleeing to Cancun amid the state's energy crisis. Senator Ted Cruz has staged a photo op that shows him handing out water to people affected by Texas storms. Cruz posted the pictures on his Twitter account late on Saturday night and was roundly criticized for doing so. It comes after Cruz decided to take a trip to Cancun while his state was in crisis. He returned after a day. His wife Heidi returned to U.S. Saturday along with her two children after his stay at a luxury beachfront resort. At least 70 people died across the nation with 30 deaths in Texas alone since the storm struck. They included an 11 year old who died from hypothermia while in bed. Biden declared Texas to be a major disaster, freeing up federal funding to individuals for temporary housing. Warmer temperatures are now covering the southern U.S. with temperatures expected to reach 70 degrees Fahrenheit on Sunday. More than 300,000 are still without power, many of them in Texas, Louisiana, and Mississippi. Now, it's a tragic misfortune what's happening in those states. My sincere prayers go out to those people, and I really don't care what Senator Cruz does. But yeah, it's probably not good optics and people are probably not going to be happy or proud of you for bailing out and going to Cancun while there's a disaster here. Now, now I get it. I would like to be in a warmer spot too. I wouldn't want to be in Texas and the freezing code. But if I'm the senator of that state, it may be a good idea for me to go out there and help as much as possible. Anyways, what do you guys think? I want to know what your comments are. Leave them below. For the Dum Dum News Channel, I'm Dum Dum.